Google alerts. Uh, it's an alert that comes straight to your email from Google, lets you know if anybody says any phrase. So anytime someone mentions Adam Klotz across the entire internet, it comes to me. I never, I never get Google alerts. The last time it happened, Adam Klotz in Minnesota made the honor roll. So my point is nobody's generally talking about me. Adam, don't start slacking. Keep up those good grades this semester. So all of a sudden, ting, 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 Google alerts start going off. People are starting to write all these articles about me just in the last week. So I'm gonna look into the first one that anyone wrote about me, uh, go through it, break it down, what's true, what's false. First off, I'm 33 years old. I've been trying to hide that from the internet. Never tell anybody how this person found this. I have no idea, but get this, January 29th, that's not my birthday, it's January 30th. So if you guys are about to send me some socks, hold off one more day, January 30th. But I was born in 1985, and whoever wrote this figured that out. I always like people to think I'm younger than I am. I think I have a young face. A young face. I'm 33. Klotz then attended Ball State University as influent in English, Italian, and Spanish. Decent in English, I've got that mostly down. Uh, Italian, como se dice, that's the only thing I know how to say in Italian. I do like pasta. Okay, so I did live in Italy for a semester and we took a ton of Italian courses. It just hasn't stuck with me. I am not fluent in Italian. And Spanish. I think if I was dropped in a Spanish speaking country, I could figure it out. Donde esta la biblioteca? He was very particular about his studies in college. Klotz had his share of fun, but he always knew what he wanted to do with his life. All right, makes me sound good, I'll take that. This article knew that after my internship in CMT, I thought I was gonna get a job there and it didn't work out for me and that's why I went back to school ultimately and studied meteorology. Yeah, I was at country music television. I interviewed Zach Brown Band. I interviewed Lady Antebellum. I interviewed Jason Aldean. I was up and coming, but it didn't work out. First TV job ever in Lima, Ohio. Yes, this is included in the article. Shout out to your hometown stations. My first job in TV. They even have a story about how I got myself wrapped into a wire. But he did have some embarrassing moments early on in his career in Lima. I have not told people this. So when you're doing the weather, you're looking at the camera and you're turning and just pointing to a green wall and there's nothing there. And it's actually reverse of what you're seeing on the TV monitor that's in front of you. So you learn to turn the opposite direction. So I was new at this station in Lima, Ohio. I was nervous. Back in the day at this small station, it was connected to a wall. So I'm just gonna pretend that this is aux cable. So this would have been my mic. So I would say, hey, there's a big line of storms moving in. And I turn to point at it and I realize I turned the wrong way and it's actually behind me. Well, in this situation, all I would have to do is turn back this way. You never turn your back to the camera, but I was nervous. I turned the wrong way. I knew I turned the wrong way. So then I was like, oh, it's behind me. I need to go this way. So I turned my back to the camera and then this wire that's in the wall starts wrapping around me. And before I know it, I'm back like this and I like start to do another half turn and my face is red and I know people are watching on TV and I'm like untangling myself doing another circle. Anchors are laughing, horrifying. The on-air push-up contest where I beat down Pete Hegseth. Obviously, that's no secret. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows I won that. Not a secret. The whole internet knows. I'm not surprised. Get this. My mom graduated from Indiana University in 1980. I couldn't have told you that. This article knows that. I mean, I knew where she went to school, but she... Shout out to my mom. Shout out to Creative Copy. All your copywriting needs. Hit her up. She'll do it for you creativecopyindie.com. Klotz appears to be crazy about colorful socks. Whenever he wears a pair of crazy socks, he makes sure to take a pic and share it on Twitter. And then they've got a tweet in the article. I actually appreciate that. You guys can follow me on Twitter too. Uh, we'll put it in the... In his free time, Klotz likes to travel and discover new places. So far, he's been to five continents. Fact. Give that a thumbs up. That's true. All right, this, this, this is good. Adam Klotz currently lives in New York City. He's certainly come a long way from days getting wrapped up in the microphone wire. And fans definitely have come to love the NYC meteorologist. Thanks, strange article about me. Yeah, so this wasn't the only one of these that was posted. Some are so bad and just make up stuff left and right like my net worth. Here's something I posted on my Instagram story. <laughs> I am worth, worth $400,000. 
This couch was 200 bucks on Craigslist. My apartment is 400 square feet. I do not, I do not have $400,000. So I'm making a video about that one too. It should be really funny because the things they say about me are ridiculous. Subscribe, I'm gonna be making that video and posting it here in the next little bit.